Hello and welcome to Out of Spec Motoring. This is gonna be a really fun one. I keep saying that, but it has been a great day. I've had one of my favorite cars, the electric mini, and we've been ripping it around. So I'm here with my friend Tom, who also writes for Inside EVs, and we are going to do a range test on the new electric mini. We're gonna try and eke out everything we can from this car. Uh, we're just charging it up to 100%. So here we go. Now, as you've probably seen from the other videos I've done on this car, this is the cheapest new electric vehicle sold in the US and the shortest range. But like I've always said, we've had no problem driving it down from New Jersey about 500 miles. The fast charging curve is incredible. I'm sure we'll end this at a fast charger, so you'll see that. And um, I'm really in love with this car for city driving. I mean, you'll see all my uh, opinions on driving it through the reviews on inside EVs and here on out of spec. I really think it's the perfect package, price, quality, everything is is really, really nice. You have to understand not everything needs two, three hundred miles of range. A hundred miles is fine for most people's daily driving needs and it can still road trip because of the fast charging network and the great charging curve. With that said, let's talk about how we're going to do this range test and some of the conditions the car will be in. So Tom is here. Thank you for bringing the Mini down. <laughs> fun drive yeah we've done a lot with this car on today we had it on track we did what else do we we got like six videos done yeah today. we got a lot, lot of good content coming out yeah basically the battery is nice and toasty <laughs> we made sure of that yeah. so we are charging it up it's at 96 percent right now yeah we're almost at 100 right get so ready, get ready to take off yeah we'll let it complete um, we're gonna go 56 miles per hour which is 90 kilometers per hour and i think that's about what bjorn does in his tests and we'll make sure it's a 90 GPS accurate. BMW Group vehicles are known for being a bit optimistic <laughs> with their speed. As you can see, it's getting dark outside and the temperatures are dropping. So I imagine we'll have temperatures right around an average of 50 degrees Fahrenheit for this test. It is a little chilly. The Mini has a heat pump. I don't think it'll need to use it. The battery's nice and toasty. I mean, we were ripping this thing around all day, charging it, flooring it, charging it. So it's good. The predicted range, it's at 99% is only 82 miles and that's 82 track miles. So, you know, it will definitely get a lot more than that. It won't affect the test in any way. It's just a prediction based off of previous driving or a gum, as some people say, guess -o -meter. Um Other than that, the wind, I checked it. It is, uh, we have a slight uh, side wind, but, but very minor, only a couple miles per hour and only for a certain section of the drive. So it is pretty much still, like I had mentioned, for the majority of the loop. We're going from here at the track, uh, which is right on the Virginia, North Carolina border, down 95 to Rocky Mount. And we're gonna do a, definitely a return loop, but we are gonna end at the Rocky Mount uh, Electrify America DC fast charging site. And uh, it's right at a Sheets gas station. So we'll get some snacks and uh, hopefully we make it there. The plan is to run the car until we get into power limit. And uh, we don't wanna run it all the way out till it doesn't move anymore. There's, we don't need to deal with the tow truck tonight, but we can get a really good idea when we get down to 1% state of charge, 2% and extrapolate the rest of the data at the bottom. So at the end of the video, we'll definitely have some math in the middle now. We're gonna see how efficient it is. Again, yesterday we did a road trip and it had the exact same efficiency as my Model 3 Performance. So we're getting ready to do the, the Mini Cooper SE range test and we wanna to charge to 100%. So we hit 99% at 8.05. And at that point, the car was telling us it would have been at 100% at 8.21. So we figured we would wait, that wasn't a problem. Then we checked at it again and it said it wouldn't be 100% until 8.24. Now we just checked at it again and it just went up again to 833. So the car hit 99% charged at 805, and it's telling us now it won't be fully charged until 833, and, and it's not done yet, it's probably gonna go further. So we're looking here at the Mini E's charging port. The first thing you'll notice is it's on a really steep angle. So uh, chargers with this handle here are a little bit awkward to get in. It's fine with a normal one. And then you have this, uh, just this little light here. It's a, it, it works fine. Functionally, it's no problem. The car gives you a guide as to what all of the lights mean here. But when you compare this to i3, for example, it has a beautiful LED ring around it. Oh, just completed. We should get on the road. And um, yeah, this just feels a little bit uh, not so great. But again, very small nitpicky thing. We're done. Let's go drive.
beautiful ambient lighting in the Mini. We have set the temperature to 68 degrees auto, but on the second fan level out of a whole bunch. Um, we're gonna leave AC on, let the car figure out what to do. It's 52 degrees outside right now. We've selected the green mode setting, and I've also changed this dial with this ring, which is totally configurable to show our battery capacity. You can do ambient lighting, and we'll also do other functions such as uh, audio level. It is official that Tom is the expert of BMW Group speedometers. He had set it at 58 before I could get my GPS speed app up to 56 miles per hour, and 58 is exactly 56. Again, 56 is 90 kilometers per hour. I think this car will be really popular in Europe, so it's important that we get representative results from uh, from, from their side as well. Um, yeah, just cruising down the highway, and it's a really great car in here. A, a, a great place to pass the time, because we'll be spending some time in this tonight, that's for sure. been having a blast driving the Mini. You can see our battery display. This whole side is dark now because we are at exactly 50% state of charge. Halfway, we've driven 65 miles roughly. 64.5, I yep, think. 64 and a half. 64 and a half. And, uh, you know, everyone's just flying by, of course, but honestly, the roads are dead empty and it's, uh, we really haven't gotten in many people's way. Um, I would say the Mini is performing flawlessly and the consumption so far is 4.2 miles per kilowatt hour. I'll also put watt hour per mile here in the video. There you go. And um, yeah, I, I think it's performing as expected and way better range so far indication than what EPA has rated this car. We just stopped here at our turnaround point at 41%. The reason we were able to go past 50% is our DC charger is back up the same way we came, up I-95, about uh, not quite to the track, but almost to the track. So most of this trip is a round trip, but not completely every inch of it, but it, it's close enough. I don't know if you can see, but this Mini just looks gorgeous at night. The headlights are crazy, crazy bright. They're the LED units, of course, and LED fogs with turning lights. So when you turn the lights all the way, it lights up the whole side of the road, blows away the headlights on the Model 3, like night and day difference, literally. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna take over this leg and uh, not drive like a typical Kyle Connor driver. The Mini has automatic high beams. I have them selected. No one's around, they should click on here. They're they go and it doesn't come up on camera but they are crazy crazy bright goes all the way to the tops of the trees i mean tesla just needs to spend a half a night in a uh, bmw group vehicle equipped with their highest you know laser light or led headlight equipment and it's just crazy how good these headlights are trip update we just reached epa rated range at 15 percent we're at 14 now um, at 110 miles was at 15 percent so that's uh if you look at that closely i mean we're really blowing right past what the epa rated and uh we'll see how much of the buffer once we hit zero miles we'll eat into we'll probably do even better than this projected 16 miles we'll see the chargers are right over there. We're at 126.8 miles currently, zero miles remaining with 1% battery. We have a little bit of a power limit. We're kind of just gonna do some circles. I wanna see 127 miles of range. So I'm being super gentle to not pull any voltage out of the pack. And uh, let's just hope this thing doesn't brick on us. And uh, yeah, this, uh, we'll just keep it nice and gentle through here. I want to drain this thing as far as we can. It's still moving, we're going. We've run the Mini all the way down to like no power limit. So I think this is truly dead. I am wide open power, I kid you not. Pedal on floor. the floor inching towards the charging station. This is Buzz, are you actually gonna make it? <laughs> no, maybe. I need to Fred Flintstone this thing. Wait, we literally got the Mini 
from 100% to true zero. Oh, it's dead. I need you to push me the last two inches. We didn't make it. We didn't make it. <laughs> Range test failed. Thumbnail. Clickbait. Yeah, push us a little bit. There we go. There we go. Yeah, because I'm giving it full bean still. Oh, it just put itself in park. No, like a half an inch. I don't know if the cable will reach. Let's go see. Wait a second. Let me get a picture of that. Transmission. Are you recording? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Let me get a picture of that. Yeah, that's fine. Transmission in park. Like the mini said, this is where it wanted to end. <laughs> that's a range test. Out of spec motoring, we know how to do range tests yeah. in cars. We don't mess around with this buffer. We use it. This is this is the, where the name the came, came from. That's out of spec driving. Oh, we are golden, golden. <laughs> so you've used the full capacity, guaranteed it. Exactly. We came up three feet short of the charging station. So we've activated the charge now. Ben, can you turn off the car completely so the doesn't draw any more. It'll be interesting to see what this battery can pull from dead. A lot of times they'll only pull like one kilowatt. Um, let's just hope it initiates. I don't know if they've ever done a test with a car this low. All right, we're in the lowest pricing tier. And 14 kilowatt, that dead is really good actually. Really good. Yeah, because pack voltage 26. 26 wow out of a peak of 50 kilowatt that's not bad at all look at this thing's doing 26 kilowatt at zero 39, Four, 39. Whoa, whoa, whoa. this is impressive so this means yeah. that bottom buffer is of the pack big a shelf it's yeah. not like a curve it's like a boop, yep down. i agree i agree it gives 41 it, at zero you can say it doesn't give you all it can until the very end it's not holding back then right <laughs> yep yep that's pretty good, 36 minutes. That's what the website quotes. Yeah. Ben's just gonna explore the mini a little bit. But what's interesting here is they are predicting a 96 mile range at full charge, but we just did 130 something. We'll get the exact total here in a minute. So you would think that number would be based off of previous driving and it was extremely efficient. So not sure what that's about. Hmm. And so there is our range test. It took 37 minutes to get to 84%. We missed it. But Mini claims 36 minutes to 80%. Uh, so I bet we were at 80% in less than 36 minutes. And this is from dead, dead, dead. I still can't believe that the car ran out literally right here. I mean, we, we were talking about it the whole time. It's crazy. So our total range, I'm sure you want to know, what was the total range number? Let's look inside and I'll show you. Look right here, 132 miles, dead even. Well, I'm pretty sure it was at 131.9 when it died. So that backing up a half a foot must have tripped it over. Uh, <laughs> by the way, speaking of reverse, Ben, guess how fast this does in reverse? Keep, the, keep in mind the smart car does 11, the Tesla does 17. 25 exactly 25 Ooh, that was a great guess yeah. and it feels it's gotta be able to do a j turn it, it does a j turn i did test yeah. not on camera but it does but it doesn't let you put it back and drive it doesn't even have gears it should just let you do it at whatever speed i know oh and if you put it in drive when you're coasting backwards and floor it nothing happens you have to come to a complete stop and then it goes. It's like the gem. it's like the it's just like the gem except this will smooth the power and really slowly anyway range test of the 2020 Mini Cooper SE. Uh, this car uh, was relatively new. It only had uh, 1,500 miles on it or so. It's a pressed vehicle from BMW Group, so I imagine it's um, really not been drained or anything like this. I think most people are just driving it around the city. We were pushing it hard though. So impressive range, EPA 110. We did 130 cruising at, again, an average on the highway of 50 uh, six miles per hour, which is 90 kilometers per hour. And then we did drive around these back roads at probably an average of 30, 35 miles per hour. We pulled off the highway with 128 miles, I think. So we really didn't drive much on these back roads. It didn't have much left in it. I don't think I would have made it if I went up to the next exit 
and back at highway speed. And now you join us back over at the charging screen where the car has reached 98% and it is now at seven kilowatt charging speed, which is really not bad for 98%. It means that it will not taper on level two until you hit 98%. And then it will fall off this cliff. That is if the charge profile is the same DC or AC, it should be. Um, but let's talk about this number right here, 30.9 kilowatt hours added, almost 31. This car is only 29 kilowatt hour usable battery pack. Now, the simple explanation to this is how could we add more power into the car than BMW Group says you can take out? Well, we actually didn't. You see, this number is tracking 31 kilowatt hours here, everything that is run through this cable. And not everything that ran through that cable has entered the battery pack. Some things were burnt off as uh, 12, probably some 12 volt power through the DC to DC converter, heat loss, pump losses, and a few other things. So there's always gonna be some losses from charging. It's really hard to get that number right. But basically, if they say it's 29 kilowatt hour usable, 29.6 or whatever it is, I believe that that number is true. And it may be even a little bit more while this pack is fresh and brand new. The other thing to talk about is there's really no standard. And if there is, please leave a comment down below. When manufacturers state usable range, if it means when the car just shuts off and put itself in park like the Mini did, or when the display shows 0% remaining. I'm not quite sure if there is a, a regulatory thing for that. I haven't read through the EPA, whatever, whoever regulates that. Let me know in the comments below. But uh, with that said, you can definitely get the full 29 kilowatt hour usable out of this car easily, especially when the pack is fresh. We should do this test again on like a high mileage car in the future. Um, we worked this battery from full to dead, back to full, and it has handled flawlessly. I mean, we've done a lot of driving in this car over the last few days, and it haven't, hasn't complained once. I mean, they really built themselves a solid product with this car, and for being, again, price point and functionality-wise, I think the perfect value for an electric vehicle. I'm all about it. Thanks for watching. See ya.